What's up, y'all? It's your boy DSC. We're doing another edition of our YouTube. So today I'm just going to talk about how there's no good teams in the NFL. Every team is average and the best teams are the worst teams and the worst teams are the best teams. And we started this most recent Sunday because there was a lot of upsets and it just blows me away how the NFL has crazy parody. Let's get into it. What's up, y'all? It's your boy, Diaz Team. We're finally back doing some videos. So I was doing YouTube shorts for a while. I've got some new people to the channel trying to grow this thing. So I'm going to try to do one or two of these videos, you know, twice a month, something like that. And then once we get to a high follower account, I will start doing this like on a every other day basis. I just takes forever to make these videos and I want to make sure the content's really good. So check out all my YouTube shorts. So today we are talking about how the NFL is bad. And everyone talks about how they want parody, by the way. Everyone talks about that. And I disagree. We like the superstar juggernaut teams that just kind of run through people and then you can hate them at the end of the road. It's just the way these things work. Let's get into the fact that the best teams in the NFL, specifically the AFC, lost on the most recent Sunday. You got the Titans lost to the Texans. Probably, arguably the worst team in the NFL. I mean, I get it's a divisional game. It was raining out. Still lost. The Titans were supposed to be the best team in the AFC. Just throw that right out the window. They're not the best team in the AFC and I never thought they were they're pretenders but the truth is also injuries all this like all that comes into play that's a that's another part of the NFL that makes so much parody there's so many injuries happens all the time the best players go down the best teams have the best players it's kind of how it works all right let's start here as of Sunday your New England Patriots are the AFC East division leaders because the Buffalo Bills completely puked on themselves they lost to the Indianapolis Colts Okay, are the Indianapolis Colts bad? No. Are they average? Yes. It just adds to my point. I was told that the Buffalo Bills were the best team in the AFC, or one of them. I wouldn't be surprised if any team wins the Super Bowl this year. Could be the Bengals, could be the Steelers. It's just gonna get hot at the right time. And all I gotta say is I would not be surprised if the Patriots pick the Super Bowl either. But I wouldn't be surprised if losing the first round. Just saying. As a Patriots fan, I'm not trying to sound like a homer or cocky, but the truth is, is anyone can win. So let's get into this. So the Patriots played on Thursday and beat the Falcons. That was just an easy one. Then we got Baltimore. So Baltimore actually had a pretty gut, gutsy win. I'm going to be honest. Like, that was pretty awesome. I, once again, would you be surprised if the Baltimore Ravens won the Super Bowl? I think their team stinks. I don't think they're good. But you got Lamar Jackson, who's a freaking superstar, and anything's possible when you have the best players. So I wouldn't be surprised. I just wouldn't be surprised. So the Bengals got a big time win. Pittsburgh doing Pittsburgh things. But once again, I wouldn't be surprised if they, you know, made the Super Bowl. I just wouldn't. And then I would be surprised if the Browns did because I just think that they're not very good, to be honest. Okay. Tennessee. Tennessee is just kind of dumb. I think Ryan Tannehill stinks. I've always thought that. He's average. You can't win with average quarterbacks. You have to have great people around that average quarterback, i.e. Derrick Henry, Julio Jones, and A.J. Brown, and a great coach in Mike Vrabel. I think Mike Vrabel is an awesome coach. Now that Derrick Henry's done for, I don't know, the year maybe, maybe the playoffs, and Julio Jones is on IR isn't very good for them. They're kind of in trouble. So I don't know what's going to happen with them because they're playing New England next week and that's going to be a bloodbath because that's a huge game for both, both parties. If the Patriots beat the Titans, we're going to be talking about the Patriots being the best team in the AFC. Like, it's just crazy to me. It's just crazy. Indianapolis Colts is a good team. I'm going to tell you, I, I feel really good about them. And then you got Houston and, you know, Jacksonville there. Not great. The best team, in my opinion, in the AFC is the Chiefs. They're quietly 7-4. and four, And the this is arguably the worst year I've ever seen Patrick Mahomes have. And with that being said, does that mean they're bad? No. Are they as good as they've ever been? No. Can they win the Super Bowl? Absolutely. I would not be surprised at all if the Kansas City Chiefs become victorious, go into the Super Bowl, and winning. Why? They have Patrick Mahomes, who is the greatest quarterback, a current quarterback. He's a freaking superstar, and their offensive, you know, game plan, you know, Travis Kelsey, Tyreek Hill, all these guys are amazing. So, with all that being said, I wouldn't be surprised if the Chiefs made the Super Bowl. It's the Chiefs. It's the Chiefs. In my opinion, right now, the hierarchy goes, the Chiefs 
I guess Titans and Bills and the Patriots are right there. But I really do think that the Chiefs are cut above everybody just because they have Patrick Mahomes. They have been really bad this year. They, their defense has been historically bad, but they had a really nice win over, over uh, the Cowboys. Actually held them to not a lot of points, and we know how good the Cowboys are. All right, so let's get into the NFC. So right now, I got the Chiefs coming out of the AFC. It's just I just That's the best team, in my opinion. The Dallas Cowboys are just so Dallas Cowboys to me. You know, they have so much talent. They always do, specifically this year. They're throwing it all over the place, have a freaking superstar quarterback in Dak Prescott. I love Dak Prescott, by the way. He's one of my favorite quarterbacks. And they have the biggest doofus coach. Mike McCarthy stinks. He's not a good coach. And Dallas Cowboys will do Dallas Cowboys things no matter how you slice it. They played the Patriots this year, and they wanted to lose that game. They didn't, you know, just because they're so freaking talented, they kind of just prevailed. Dumb coach coaching, dumb game plans. They just don't know how to do it. It just feels like Jerry Jones is the problem. We could do that in another video. So Dallas is just a cut ahead in that division. I, it's really just them and everybody else. Dallas is a good team in the NFC. I just don't think they have any chance to make this Super Bowl. I just don't. Like, it's just Dallas. But are they talented to get there? Yeah. But I guess it's part of my video today just to show that anyone can make it. I'm really just like, do I think they're going to make it? No, but can they? Yes. It's just anything's possible in the NFL this this year. Green being a tough loss. And I really just think that was a, just a gutsy win by the Vikings. I mean, they should have blown them out. Green Bay came back. In my opinion right now, actually, we'll, we'll do this at the end of the NFC. I want to I wanna get into it. Okay, so that whole division just kind of stinks outside of Green Bay. But if the Vikings could get hot at the right time, make it in as a wild card or something and you know wreak havoc they're a good team but when you get green bay in your division it's hard to win the division just all it always is so now we got tampa bay so tampa bay kind of stinks right now they're injured you know no one's playing well uh the wrong the wrong players are out and they're six and three but would i be stunned if they made the super bowl and won it again no because they freaking tom brady so i don't know could be another year where the where the buccaneers just pull it out of their keister and just you know gets the Super Bowl again. Then you go to Arizona. I know they're 9-2. and two. I, I think they had a pretty gutsy win with Colt McCoy. I mean, Colt McCoy is like a great backup, by the way. But I just don't believe in them. I just don't. I I, I always feel like there's always a front runner in the NFL every year. Uh, and I think that the Arizona Cardinals are that team this year. But once again, could they win the Super Bowl? Yes. I am not surprised, but in my estimation, the greatest team in the NFL currently is the Rams, and the Rams just have Matthew Stafford and could turn to a pumpkin at any point. You never know with Matthew Stafford. Then you get the 49ers, who are 5-5. Five and five. They can make a run, too. So, concluding, the teams that are actually good are average, for the most part, and there's like two or three teams that are like good, in my opinion. Good to great. The good to great teams are, without me being biased, is the Cardinals. Like, I, I, I don't really like them, but I do think they're good to great. The Rams, good to great. Tampa Bay, good to great. And then Green Bay, good to great. And then I just, I guess Dallas is good to great, but I don't know. I just, it's Dallas. Then the AFC, literally anybody can make the Super Bowl. I would say the best chance of any team is the Chiefs. But with all that being said, if you're a fan of any of these teams that I mentioned, literally any of them, the only teams that have no chance are like the Houston Texans and the Jacksonville Jaguars, like, and maybe like the Atlanta Falcons, like just the worst teams in the NFL have no chance. If you're like a middler or like the Vikings, you could make a run to the Super Bowl this year. It's that year and I think at the end of the day after the season's over, people are going to look at it as kind of a weak field and everyone should feel disappointed that they didn't take advantage of this. It's going to be one of the situations where the great teams are not there this year, so if you're really just like a a team that doesn't really always have that opportunity to get there, you better take advantage of it. So Dallas, I don't I don't think Dallas could do it just because it's Dallas, but you got to take advantage of it this year. The field is so average that it's just, we're looking at a, could be a subpar Super Bowl or it could be the Buccaneers versus the Patriots, which is just like, pfft, that'd be too much for my brain to handle. So... I conclude with my predictions. I think the Chiefs are the best team in the AFC and the best team in the NFC is the Rams. And I think the Chiefs will make the Super Bowl. And I think that the Buccaneers will make the Super Bowl just because they have Tom Brady. Could be a repeat. We'll see. And I'm going to make another video coming up about what people would do if it was the Patriots versus the Bucks, because that is possible this year, folks. And people would be sick to their stomachs if it's Tom Brady versus the Patriots, because the Patriots haters, the Tom Brady Sayers wouldn't be able to handle it. That's it, guys. If you enjoyed this video, please subscribe down below because we're doing a lot more of these. Talk to you guys soon.